Hi, the name's Grogan, Paul Grogan, and in this Gaming Rules video, I'm going to be teaching you how to play Codenames Pictures, the follow-up game to the highly successful Codenames, both published by Czech Games Edition. In Codenames Pictures, two rival teams of spies must try to make contact with their own agents operating undercover at secret locations. The first team to make contact with their own agents wins the game, but beware, if a team makes contact with the assassin, they instantly lose. Players divide into two teams of roughly equal size. One member of each team is the spy master, and they sit at one side of the table. The other players are the field operatives, and they sit across from the spy masters. Place the agent cards, the bystanders, and the assassin near the spy masters. Randomly choose 20 of the pictures and place them in a 5x4 grid. Each picture represents a location in the game. Then, randomly choose one of the key cards and place it into the stand so that only the spy masters can see it. This key card corresponds to the grid on the table and tells the spy masters which of the locations contain blue agents, red agents, innocent bystanders, and which one is the deadly assassin. The lights on the side of the key show which team starts. That team has eight agents to locate, and the other team has seven. On a team's turn, the spy master must first give a coded message to their field operatives, telling them which locations they should visit to contact their agents. The clue must take the form of a single word and a number. The number is how many of the pictures on the table the spy master has associated with the clue they've given. For example, these two pictures are locations where your agents are waiting. You could give the clue Evolution 2. This tells your team that there are two of the pictures which you associate with the word evolution. There's a number of specific rules about what clues you can give, and these are all covered in the rulebook. You can give a clue to a single word, such as kangaroo one, if there was a picture of a kangaroo. However, since you're competing with the other team, getting one clue at a time is probably not going to win you the game. After giving the clue, the spy masters must be careful not to give any additional hints, either verbal or otherwise. The field operatives must then try to figure out what the clue means. To make their first guess, they touch one of the pictures. If they touch a picture of their own team, the spy master covers it with an agent in their colour, even if it was not one of the pictures that the spy master was thinking of. A correct guess also allows the team to carry on and choose another picture. If, however, the operatives indicate an innocent bystander, then their turn is over and the picture is covered over with one of the innocent bystanders. Worse yet, if the operatives touch a location with an agent of the opposing team, their turn is over, and the picture is covered with an agent of the other team's colour, bringing them closer to victory. And finally, if the operatives make contact with the assassin, they are never heard from again, and that team immediately loses the game. A team must make at least one guess, and if it's correct, they may keep guessing, but they can choose to stop at any time if they're not sure which picture to choose next. At most, they can have one more guess than the number given, and this extra one is normally used to go back and pick up on previous clues that they may have missed earlier. As soon as a team makes contact with all of its own agents, they win the game. The red team starts and the spy master gives the clue Spring 2. After some consideration, the red operatives first choose this picture. This is covered with a red agent, and they can carry on, if they want to, with another guess. They next choose this one, thinking that the spy master meant spring as a clue to the bear on a pogo stick. Unfortunately, this is wrong, and an innocent bystander is placed on the location. Play passes to the blue team. The blue spy master says, betray three. The blue team first touch this one, which is covered with a blue agent. But then they touch this one, which belongs to the other team, so it's covered with a red agent. It's now Red's turn again, and the Red Spy Master says, Peace 2. The team guess this one, and then this one. They can now use their extra guess to try and find the word relating to spring that they missed earlier. They choose this one, bringing the number of agents they have located to five. The blue team now has a lot of work to do. Codenames Pictures is normally played with four or more players, but there are rules for a two and three player game covered in the rulebook. There's also expert rules for those players who want more options. 
And if you own a copy of the original code names, you can even combine both games together. I hope you found this video useful in learning how to play code names pictures. If you want to see any more of my videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until next time, take care and thanks for watching.